Hello once again, here we are today. <laughs> this is part two of our Wednesday out. <laughs> We're out here at uh, Central Central Salia. Central Salia. It's uh, one of the bigger shopping malls in Nakhon close to where we live, close, not as close as the mall and the other ones, but uh, it's still quite a, an interesting place to look around. So I thought we'd just have a look around and just have a, a bit of a chat. Yes, the new normal. What is this new normal? Everybody with masks on. Oh my God. Which brings me to the first thing I wanted to have a chat about, which was, yeah, 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 that's a choice my mouth, yeah. Uh, so they can't hear me properly if I got the mouth mask up in my mouth. But yes, yeah, so we had a, uh, a couple of recent news articles uh, this week. What you want? No, you just had lunch, darling. You don't want what you want now. No, I think to buy and buy gift for friends who Okay. Birthday. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see she has this time. Okay, okay, no problem. And yes, I am quite sure that the Thai waistlines are getting bigger. With places like Mr. Donut. <laughs> we good now? You for you. Not for me. I know you're not. <laughs> no, I want you fat. Oh, you want me fat, yeah. Yes, uh, shopping malls are in, in America, I think, are all dead, but there's still a growing business here in Thailand, that's for certain. Uh, things are always looking new. Respect social distance, that's a new one. I haven't seen that before. As we say, the new normal, this is what we're getting used to. Oh my god. But yeah, so the biggest news stories this week uh, is uh, one uh, Rayung, uh, Rayung, that's uh, uh, east, uh, southeast of Pattaya. Uh, there's the uh, Egyptian airman uh, debacle. Oh my God! And of course, in Bangkok, we had the uh, the Sudanese uh, diplomats well, debacle. See huh? yeah. from what? Who's from? Oh, you want to look? Okay, yeah, you can look. It's okay. Yeah. yeah so what we're seeing or hearing on the news, the the governor Rayung, he's been permanently moved somewhere else now. So he's had his wrist slapped. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen in uh, in Bangkok itself about these Sudanese, but it just really goes to show the fact that you know, like we've been doing pretty good here in Thailand with the. Uh, zero local infections I think for like 49 days was the, the last count and I guess the complacency is one of the biggest problems we have to deal with is uh, supposedly what I read online so far is the, uh, the issue with the, the, the airmen was the fact that they were supposed to arrive in, in Swanapum uh, airport but they actually landed in Patio airport uh, whatever the other Utapa I think it's called um, so they weren't as prepared to take international travellers. Uh, now we've had a mandated rule here, like this is a mandated rule, like just like the mask, it's a thousand baht fine for not wearing a mask. Uh, we've also got a sort of mandated rule that everybody, that means zero exceptions, goes through a 14 day quarantine. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're the king of bloody Siam, king of anywhere, it doesn't matter. The fact that if you've been overseas, when you come back, you um, you simply go into quarantine. No ifs, no buts. Uh, but for some reason, you know, like airmen from Egypt, why did they get exempted? Uh, the Sudanese diplomats, why did they get exemption? Because they got money. Uh, really, this is the biggest problem we have to face now is, of course, what's happened obviously is the, the whole upshot of the, uh, the situation is the fact that um, uh, there was a letter uh, came out today from the Prime Minister that's it, all diplomatic exemptions have been squashed and nullified, and that's it. Uh, I think they just finally realised the fact that it doesn't matter if you've got money in your pocket, money in, in your bag, money anywhere, uh, money doesn't talk. The virus does not care. <laughs> you're a human being, you're a carrier, or a potential carrier, that's it. Um, the only thing we can really do is wait for the world to wake up to the fact that, that two weeks quarantine globally, everybody stay the away from everybody else, maybe we'll have a chance of <laughs> suppressing the whole thing. Really. You know, we've been doing pretty good here. We've been doing absolutely, you know, best in the world, uh, given, the, you know, 65 million people here. Um, and, uh, you know, the, 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 the way we are here in Thailand with, you know, like, uh, we were already wearing masks in around December because of all the pollution, um, uh, the fact that we weigh, we don't handshake. 
Um, you know, we don't show affection in public generally. Uh, so there's no kissing and cuddling and everything else like that in public. Right, so you know, we had a fairly good head start against the rest of the world. Um, but then again, you know, these sort of, you know, these situations are going to crop up from time to time, and hopefully it's just a big wake-up call to, to everybody out there. The fact that nobody's exempt from this thing here. Although I'm pretty much against the whole mask wearing idea and the whole, you know, the way the whole thing's being sort of blown out of proportion. Uh, that's only my opinion. But really, what we're going to look at here is the fact that. You know, it does exist, so you can't turn a blind eye to it. Uh, there is a virus uh, going around uh, which has a potential uh, ability to you know, cause some serious damage uh, to certain uh, people that uh, have uh, health issues and are predominantly you know, in the aged, uh, aged group, that's probably the best way to put it. Um, they are at high risk of this virus. Uh, nobody's immune to it, but as I said, your body immune system uh, has a potential um, to really stave off any major or serious effects of the virus. So, uh, again, you know, this is what we're going to deal with, isn't it? Uh, as such is life. But it just goes to show. I just think it's funny, you know, the fact that, you know, like, everybody's been you know, all the finger pointing in the last two days. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, but uh, better now than, sort of, you know, like, let the thing slip off. Right. And again, so like we had sort of, you know, uh, people in Rayung now are in, in a big panic mode because these airmen were allowed to go into shopping centres and malls and mingle with the public. Um, and you know, were they using the Thai Tachana uh, app? This is another thing that's, you know, like we've got this app that you check into places so your movements can be tracked. Right now, there's the backpedaling to try and find out why those apps weren't properly administered and used right, so that people could be think. Now, they also read the fact that these airmen, for instance, uh, it was absolutely crazy. Um, they actually refused to be tested when they landed in the country. God, if I was the damn government, I would have told them to f*** off. You know, this is the law here in Thailand. Why do you think you're going to be exempt from the law? Right? You're going to be tested, you're going to go into quarantine. End of story. Right? That's what the law is. And I've always said this before, like, I don't really write the laws. Uh, but the point is the fact that the laws exist, right? We might not like them, but guess what? They've been working. So why do we have to put up with this bloody, you know, paraphernalia that that's the sort of, oh, it's absolutely crazy. Anyway, enough of my rant on that one, but you know, it just goes to show you can't trust anybody over here. Yes, yeah, so anyway, darling, everybody keeps on asking, how's the salon doing? How you do for the salon? Everything going good? Yeah. Yeah? You have a good customer? Yeah, everything good by now. Now what? She wants to go to the home now. Yeah, so she has been telling me, or actually, my mother was telling me, I've been seeing it. Uh, early morning starts, there's a, a makeup sessions for people going to weddings at 3 a.m. in the morning. Or, or, weddings on the street, right? And that's when she has to get up to go and do these uh, special makeup appointments. Uh, as I said, they're good money. Uh, you know, she gets to do the whole makeup and hair thing, and uh, so all those are sort of coming in again. So I guess uh, there's people out there doing weddings. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, so business is picking up. Um, how many salon where you stay now? How many salon? Any salon closed down? Yeah. How many salon closed? Yeah. In your in three hundred and ten. Sometimes trying to get the English and Thai translations. Yeah, so in her area where the shop is, she says uh, three salons have closed down uh, out of all the ones in the local area. So that means the fact that she's managed to sort of, you know, pick up some extra customers as well because those ones there are gone, gone for good. I think it's quite a half, of the, half the salons in her local area have closed down for good and probably never, never going to open again. Ding dong. Really ding dong. Really ding dong. Oh yeah, and one of the most comical things that I think I've been seeing over the last month and a half or two months on social media is this negativity towards towards masks. You know, so saying it's you're breathing in your own carbon dioxide. Where do these people really get a clue? Right? Seriously, you know how much capacity is in a, in a standard breath? 
right? And how much air, how much, how much carbon dioxide could be trapped in between your face, your skin, and the front of your mouth? What, two cubic inches? And you're going to die of asphyxiation of carbon dioxide? Really? Come on, people. My friend did not come. She did not come, um, yeah. yeah. I have no idea where people get off on these silly little ideas. Yeah. My biggest problem is the fact that I don't make masks big enough for somebody with a nose like mine. Um, my biggest challenge is you know, talk, and the next thing you know, this is crawling down my face like this, and then next thing you know, it's crawling off. Uh, such is life. But there's definitely no sort of, you know, there's no worry about obviously carbon dioxide asphyxiation wearing a mask like this or any mask, right? Really. People have got no idea about that sort of stuff. I don't know, they see some sort of bullshit on freaking social media. Oh, what is it? Uh, What's the only thing I can think of? I find myself using the word shit show a lot more than I used to. <laughs> it's an absolute crazy world. I don't know. We have not come to the bus because I need to be fast by something. Oh, well, you can and take on from there. You can heal me. Take on from there. Mayor will no, eat. No, 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 you can heal me for me fat. <laughs> Make you fat? <laughs> okay, why not? Oh, well, we've had a bit of a wander around here and sort of, it looks all cool and made my baby happy. You're, you're happy now? Oh, yeah. Anyway, just another short video. Peace out, guys. We'll see you soon. And we got to get our car and get out of here. Yep. Yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye for now. What else do you say? Have subscribe. Subscribe, like, and share. Like and share. Yeah. Not forget. Not forget. I want you to lift me up so high